Hello friends, this is another 10 minute stretch and flex, the antidote to sitting, office work, um, computer work. So um, this, we're going to focus on this um, session on neck, shoulder and upper back and I don't know anyone who doesn't need that. So to begin, my favourite warm up breath that does everything, um, starting with a wide leg stance, toes pointing front. We're going to breathe in, scoop into the stomach, hold in there, hold your breath in. On an exhale, push the heel of the hands away. So your hands are flat like you're really pressing against something. At the same time, draw the tummy in and tuck the chin and really round those shoulders. So you're making a little C-shape. I'm turning sideways to demonstrate. So you're making a little C-shape and you're tucking the chin and really pressing. So you'll feel it all across the upper back. Then we're going to stand tall, hold the breath a moment and on the next exhale, and as ever, breath is what's going to help those muscles relax and release if you've got a lot of knots and tension. So the breath is really important and it also brings calmness, good for anxiety. So again, soft knees, scoop in, hold the breath in, on an exhale, Push out the air as you press the heel of hands forward, really crunch in, breathe in, reach tall, lift the ribcage, hold the breath a moment, and on the exhale, let the arms float very, 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 very slowly down. And again, breathe in, scoop the energy up, hold it in, Exhale, push round, tuck the chin, squeeze the abs in, get a lovely stretch, breathe in tall, hold the breath, exhale, down. Even if you only do one thing, this is a lovely thing to do to stretch out. Here we go, breathe in, hold into the centre, exhale, tuck the chin, exhale, push away. Breathe in tall, hold the breath a moment, exhale. So the point of holding the breath is there's more release after the build-up of tension holding breath. When you do exhale, you get a greater release in the body. One more time, breathe in, sweep up, hold into the core. Exhale, round, crunch, tuck in that chin, push the heel of hands, feel a stretch over the shoulders. Breathe in tall, hold in the breath, exhale, float the hands down and repeat that as often as you like. And what we're going to do now is do a little bit on the neck. So make link your hands and just make a nice little cradle behind the head. Take a breath in and really push your chest up and pin those shoulders back as you tilt your head to look upwards, but it's nicely cradled in your hands. And on an exhale, crunch in the belly, tuck in your chin and gently look downwards. And the weight, the very gentle weight of your hands will help stretch that neck. Breathe in, look up, pin open those shoulders, tilt the head gently up, rest it in the cradle of, ha of your hands. Exhale, crunch in, round and curve, tuck the chin, elbows in. Breathe in, up. Expand open, look up, and exhale, tuck, crunch, squeeze in the abs. This can be done quite comfortably seated as well. If you've got mobility issues or if you're just in a moment, you're in the midst of something, you don't want to stand up, you just need to stretch. Okay, and gently come up and repeat that as often as you need, if that one works for you. Um, so the next thing we're going to do with our head and neck is again movement because I find movement is one of the best ways of dealing with tension rather than just stretching. So we're going to do chicken head. I'll go sideways. So you're going to keep your chin level with the floor and use your nose to point forward. So you're stretching your neck forward. Keep the shoulders pinned back and then bring the head back to neutral and then to the point where you get a double chin. Push forward and exhale back. Breathe in forward, chicken head. 
exhale back, breathing forward, exhale back. Keeping the crown of the head um, pointing up to the ceiling is a good balance because most of the time our heads are bent forward and this muscles at the back of the neck are constantly pressured so it's actually nice to have your head up stacked above your shoulders which gives more release than constantly trying to lean your head forward and stretch it even more. Um, so now we're going to draw a circle with our chin so press your chin forward and then draw a circle around with the bottom of the chin. Um, it's an alternative way of getting some movement in the neck column. You might hear some crickling and crunching, but you've got to try and keep that head level, crown of head pointing to the ceiling, keeping those shoulders pulled back and down and reverse direction. Again, all of this is perfectly possible sitting as well, if that's what's more convenient for you. Lovely. So now we're going to do a shoulder diamond. Um, I'm turning sideways for demonstration. So squeeze one shoulder up as close to the ear as you can. Now press that shoulder back as far away as you can. Pull that shoulder down like you're really trying to use the heel of the hand, you'll feel a stretch over the trapezius here. And then press it forward. So don't bend forward. Try and keep your head pointed to the crown of the ceiling and just press the shoulder. So it goes up pull back, really push down with that hand, press forward, up, back. So it's called a shoulder diamond because that is the pattern that the shoulder, tip of the shoulder is drawing forward. Press up, pull back, pull down. So we're trying to find the full range of movement here and down. Don't lead with the elbow because it's about the shoulders. Try and keep your arm passive and just use your shoulder. Think of your shoulder blades up, pull back, down and forward. If your arm is moving, then you're not moving the um, shoulder properly. I know it's a bit hard, but it, it's worth cultivating. Doing the other side. So press up, press back. Pull it down, really push the heel of the hand down, press forward, press up, back, push down, forward, push up, press back, press down with the hand and forward, up, back, press down and forward. Lovely. Now we're going to do a full range. So when people shrug their shoulders, they do this tiny movement, which is not the range that your shoulder is capable of. So standing nicely and firmly, push those shoulders up into the ears, press them back as far as they go. So the chest is really pinging forward. Then push your hands down as low as you can and then completely fold forward. I'll do sideways. So up, push them up into the ears, pin those shoulders back. So you're really pressing the chest forward and up, pull the shoulders down, pushing down to the floor press it forward, crunch in the abs, up and round. So it's a huge motion compared to what people normally do. This is going to really get circulation into those shoulders. Shoulders and neck are so interconnected, helping one helps the other and then reverse. Good. Okay, so give it a little shake. Another of my favourites for shoulders and neck, doing them simultaneously, is the heron. So have your arms wide and feet together, softness in the knees. We're going to bend the elbows and bring, slide the hands flat like this and squeeze your shoulder blades, your scapula, really tightly, tightly, tightly together. And at the same time, very gently look up, follow your nose to the point where your head's okay. So what we're doing, we're constricting all the blood between the neck and the shoulder blades. And then on an out breath, as you bring the head back to neutral and press the arms wide, you get a flood of blood into the area, which brings a lot of release and a lot of heat. So it's a really good way if you get quite constricted here. So 
Breathe in, bring the wings in, squeeze those scapula together, look up. Exhale, push apart. Breathe in, squeeze it all together. Exhale, push away. Breathe in, squeeze together. Exhale, push away. Lovely, swing those arms. And our final thing is doing a little bit of cupping round your hand, so it's making a little cup shape. Um, patting the sensation, I find personally my trapezius here gets quite tense. Gently on the back of the neck, just very, very gently. So you're bringing circulation down the arms and wrists. And doing the other side, so cupped hand. You know how much pressure feels right for you. I find that the trapezius can take an awful lot because the trapezius and the neck are so interconnected. This is where a lot of the tension lies. Patting down the hand. And hopefully you'll feel better after that. And uh, if you enjoyed this, please do um, click the like button or uh, leave a comment below. Uh, that's really very helpful. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.